Hey, it's Ruben in the shop bringing you another auction haul video. Um, I was bidding in an estate auction this week, ended up winning four lots. My name's Ruben, I'm a reseller, uh, been full time for just over a year. One of my favorite things to do is buy lots at uh, estate auctions, um, mainly closet lots, where I purchase everything that's in the closet and then it's my responsibility to clean out that closet. Um, I'm gonna do another video where I go through the stuff I found in two closets. Um, found some cool stuff already just, just by digging through, or not even digging through, just taking the stuff out of the closet. Found some cool stuff. Anyways, what I'm showing you today is a toy haul. Um, this person, this estate, the person who accumulated this stuff, I'm guessing was a thrifter. Um, they were into toys. They were into cameras, um, and I think they kind of just bought whatever they liked. I don't know. I saw this. I haven't looked it up or anything. Godzilla metal lunchbox. I don't know if that's worth money. They paid five fifty, but the sticker on it says nine twenty five ninety eight. So they were buying this stuff at the Goodwill. This one's like in here in ninety eight. So that's 22 years old by itself. Who knows what we're going to find. So there was a little bit of drama at the beginning. Uh, I had to wait to get in because of uh, restriction. Totally fine. But they told me their day one was in the house. Day two was in the garage. A lot of people were there for day two because there's a lot of bulk lot stuff. Um, so I'm standing in line and he says, uh, you day one, day two. I'm like, I'm day, I'm both, but I need to day two, do day two first. It's a lot of boxes. I want to put them down first. And he was like, okay, do you have anything in day one? I'm like, yeah, I, have, I can grab some VHS tapes that I won. They're over there. Um, but after that, I have to go day two. And he's like, okay, cool. So I load those up. And then when I'm done loading them up, I see him tell this guy, oh, go ahead and go back for day two. And I'm like, dude, why did you just send him back? You knew... I had to go back and this guy bought the huge record lot so it was gonna take him forever he even turned around and was like hey uh, it's gonna take me a while and I'm just looking at I'm not gonna use the auctioneers name. I'm just looking at him like why'd you do that so anyways I do get in there about five ten minutes later it's 25 degrees outside when this is all going down um, and I go back to check out these boxes let me show you the picture there were multiple pictures of the uh, the lot, but it's all online and like perception is everything. So I looked at these pictures for a while. I could see that there were eight um, boxes against the wall and then there was that Pennzoil box, that crate and another box. So that's what I was expecting to pick up. Right when I go up and he's like, what's your number? What's your lot number? And I tell him like, it's kind of in a corner somewhere. And he's like, okay. And he's like, well, uh, there was a mix up, there was overlapping pictures, and so some new stuff, I guess. There was this Easy Bake Oven thing that wasn't included. I wasn't too bent out of shape about that. But then that Pennzoil box, the crate, and the box underneath it, he was like, these are a part of a camera lot. So in the moment, I was like, well, there were skates in there, and then I can see the skates were put up onto some other box, and I was just kind of, I was frustrated. He's like, it was just a mix up. And I was like, well, I paid, uh, I ended up paying for this lot $170 after fees. Um, I paid 170 bucks and he's like, well, and I was like, well, I'll talk to Lloyd about it. And then what I didn't see is there was this. Doo -doo -doo. It's a Honda kick and go. Um, Honda. Uh, there was this right there. So I was like, well, this is mine. He's like, yeah, it's like part of the lot. And I hadn't seen it in the pictures, but I wasn't going to not negotiate. So I took that. I think it was mine anyways. This I saw. We'll take a closer look at these things in a second. Um, this was on top. You can see in that picture. But what was also in the pictures that I didn't notice was this. That is 
number 120 cement mixer tonka toys uh, unbreakable steel so i saw that and i was like "Ooh, is it in there is it new it's not new but it is in there we're gonna take a closer look at this in a second as well how cool is that it's from 1962 very very happy so all things worked out now we gotta go through all of this stuff i'm guessing it's gonna be a lot of a lot of early 90s things. I did see a yellow vinyl box, pretty big. So that's either going to be Barbie or I'm hoping uh, Hot Wheels. I don't know. So what I'm thinking, we'll do it a box at a time. I'm going to give you guys like an overhead view and we'll see how that works and see if we find any other treasures. Pretty excited. I think I'm already even or maybe a little bit ahead with these two toys, the Tonka and the Honda. So yeah, good news. Never done this before. So here is this Tonka truck. How cool is that? The cement mixer thing moves as it moves, goes down, this part goes down. It is this colored here, this part of the wheel. And there is a crack right here. This is part is plastic, um, but still pretty awesome. You see that old school Tonka Toys decal? It's the bottom. I think the box is like the prize. I'm sure these come up, but I'm sure these come up a lot less. Uh, yeah, like I said, 1962. Oh, check this out. So. I have my toys loaded up, right? All these boxes. And this guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, um, can I see that die cast in there? And it was this brand. I have some more over there. Kind of cheapy brand. Uh, and he's like, uh, he's like, I collect die cast. And I was like, oh, cool. And he's like, I had this truck, not that brand, but I had this truck when I was a kid. And I was like, oh, that's cool. He's like, would you sell this? And I was like, yeah. And I was, I thought about it, I was like, five bucks? And he's like, okay. And then there was like a tractor set. And he's like, would you sell that one too? I was like, yeah, if you want to give me 10. So there was a chance there that I had sold him something good. But I looked at the boxes. I kind of looked at it. And I was like, okay, this isn't, unless I, it's something I just don't know about, which there's a ton I don't know about. But I, I had a good feeling. I think it was even made in China. So I was pretty solid that. I was okay selling it at 10 bucks. I did immediately look on my phone as I walked back to pick up more boxes of toys. And uh, one had sold recently for 20 bucks a set, just like I had, the semis and the tractors. And it sold for 20 bucks plus $22 shipping. Um, so it was going to cost me, not $20 to ship it, but I wouldn't have charged $20 to ship it. Uh... It was worth selling it for 10 bucks, so 10 bucks immediately back in my pocket. Then, when I came out and he told me to collect a die cast, I showed him this. I was like, hey, check this out. And he was like flabbergasted. And uh, I had already told him that I sell, like, that's what I do. And he's like, I'm shooting myself in the foot, but I think it's worth like 120. It has to be 120. And I was like, yeah. And I had looked online. I saw one, I think, for 120 I don't know if it had the box or not. And I'll look again. Post it right here. Uh, I was like, okay. Um, I was like, well, I need it because I wanted to show you guys on YouTube. I told him. I was like, I got a YouTube channel. I got to show it on there. Um, I took his number and stuff. Turns out this guy helps run this toy show here uh, in New Mexico uh, at the Marriott. And it's like this die-cast car show. And he's like, it's pretty big. We like we have buyers from Jap Japan, um, across Europe, uh, Dubai. Um, I guess there are a bunch of retired um, des toy designers who live in New Mexico. What? He said that they had some like Matchbox designer there. And there's like a special car they make 200 of. He's like, you should definitely get one. He's like, I always sell mine a week later for 400 I'm like, okay. Like, when things are limited, people do buy stuff. So, 
uh, I'm going to keep in contact with this guy. If I find some more cool metal stuff, I might make a deal with him just so it's just easy and I get that new connection. Because someday he's going to find some special closet and let me know. So, there's that. Here's that plane. I saw this. I was interested in it. I've always done well with model planes. This one's quite large. Usually the desk models, which I think this is a desk model, it has this hole on the bottom. It's where it would screw into the stand. So I'm thinking it would go like this on a desk of some airline executive. Um, so this is made out of... Um, not wood, but some type of composite. It's heavy. This weighs a good two, three pounds. Um, what was exciting to me in the pictures is I can see the propellers. Unfortunately, it is missing propellers. One is broken here. But how long ago did they have these big old jetliners that were propeller driven? Something in like 60s, right? There's the cool back. So that's what this is. Um, I'll do research. If I can find a comp, I'll show you guys. Otherwise, it's damaged, but it has to be worth at least 50 bucks, hopefully more. All right, you guys ready for the boxes? Number one. Box number one. Cabbage patch sewing machine box. Well, I think I could sell the Tonka box. I don't think I can sell that. Wood car, child's toy. You wanna to look at the bottom of these? Sometimes they're marked with like a maker. Nothing here. Um, this will donation. Possibly I'll make a toy lot for the local auction. We got a Campbell's Clubhouse tin. Nothing in it. Uh, 1997. I can't imagine it being worth much. They paid 249 at some point. Um, I saw this in the pictures. It's a weenie wheel. Yeah. It's a rotisserie for your weenie. I don't know. I, I want to use it. I don't know what you would clamp this onto. Weenie wheel. It's cool that it has its original box. I did see these this in the pictures. I did look it up just to see. Because when I'm looking at the pictures, I want to like add up the money. And if I can see the money, then it's fun and it's worth it. So I think I can get 10 bucks for that. Maybe a little more on Macari or Etsy, kind of as more of a novelty thing. Okay, this is a piece to um, an aircraft carrier. There's part of it over there. I saw it. So that's what that is. Interesting. We have a touch and tell. What does this do? Texas Instrument Learning Center. 1981. I've heard of things like this, but I... Oh, okay, okay. So, I guess you put the picture in, and then when you press the things, it must tell the story. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it opens. Price at 10 bucks, so probably like a garage sale item. Um, the box says $5. There's some sticker residue. Uh, batteries. How to change overlays, okay. Well, I'll do a more looking into it. I don't, I, I doubt it's gonna work. So it came with that and it has the home library of Touch and Tell. So in between me filming this and uh, making the video, I'll do all the research and throw it up there for you guys. So that's interesting. I just put batteries in this touch and tell, and I think. Press a picture. This is the dog. <laughs> Tree. House. Look at 
again. Try again. This is the house. Pretty cool. That's the red car. <laughs> the box is a little worse for wear, but still kind of cool that it has it. Ooh. There's only one more thing in here. This looks fun. Um, Airball Arcade, the game of action and skill. So, it looks like you got to use this little mechanism. Hopefully it's all in there, because that looks like... It's not like a Mattel game or Milton Bradley, but... Okay. <laughs> this thing goes around, and you can score it in there. Um, looks like it might have all the points or all the pieces. I don't know. I'll have to look more into it. I'm trying to figure out how it shoots the ball. Oh well. Kind of a cool thing. I like... I've never seen one. <laughs> Gear on it. No year. Okay, let's do box two. Box two. Okay, we got a truck. It's plastic. Uh, Toys R Us truck with a trailer. I can't imagine that's worth anything. Truck high speed. Biggest truck. Yeah, this is a donation, probably. The box here says underwear and bras, 25 cents. Ooh. We got a cap gun, pony boy. Um, if you sell cap guns, you want to make sure you have the orange tip thing. But, uh, I won't sell that just because, uh, well, I might. I don't know what I'm doing with that. Um, 1981, Asbak, Hamway, International, made in Hong Kong. It's a cool tank, remote control. Maybe it has the other part in it, the remote. Because I see some remote stuff in here. Another cap gun. Another pony boy. This one's not gold. Stay gold. This goes to... What is this? A-H-I. This might be for the... Yeah. Heck, it was there. Cool, we got a pair. Hopefully they work. Do these things usually work after this much time? I do not know. Oh, here we go. Here's a U.S. Army like, semi-truck. Let's go with this. I think you would get something like this at like Walgreens. ABC Toys, 1986. There's another one. take a bunch of batteries missing the cap though that's kind of crucial echo this one doesn't have as much information on the back um, I'm guessing again like a Walgreens thing here's this piece which I believe goes here so, yeah Guy Hook, Buddy L, 1989, made in Macau. Is this part of it? Yeah, I think so. 
here's the rest rest of the sky hook a la Kareem Abdul-Jabbar boom that's cool I played with this toy I didn't have anything like that. well I'm not gonna say that I don't remember maybe I did maybe I too had the sky hook and then we got Twin Motors, Dino Track, made in China. I don't see a maker on the bottom. So maybe just something that you would get at a drugstore. This is the remote for it. So it's cool that everything here has its remote. The only downside, we do have this missing back. Um, yeah, I don't know if these things work after a long time. Oh, this is a piece to something. It looks like it's supposed to be camouflage. Looks like this one. Oh, it's the, uh, what do you call it? The cannon. Boom! We're back in action. So, I'll look up this stuff and let you guys know. I feel like I'm in a sea of antennas. Uh, box three, you ready? Box three. Here's that aircraft carrier thing, the boat I was talking about. So, this. So it's really dusty. On the bottom, it says Red Box, 1998. So I would imagine this is just like a little knockoff toy for, uh, not knockoff, but a toy to use with your G.I. Joes. Oh, that's it. So this part goes up and down. Or it goes down. I don't know if it goes up anymore. But so I don't know if that's worth anything. I think that's a good item to like do a big lot for the local auction. People buy toys. I don't know where they sell the toys. Hmm. What is this? Oh. This actually might be pretty good self stuff right here. This is Pots and Pans, Ohio Art Company, Bryan, Ohio. Uh, what is it called? Cockabell? Something like that. Ooh, this one's rusted out. This one's metal. Again, Cockabell. So these would have been just for like a little playset, a little kitchen playset. So I'll check those out. I like them. You know me and my cookware. Love me a good pot and pan. This is intriguing. At first I thought it was... What is it? This is... 1991 Mirage Studios Playmates. That has to be a part of a... Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing, right? And this guy... What, what were these guys called? Shredder's guys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys can be worth big money. This isn't complete. This is not with a box. But I bet you I'll find out what this is. And I bet you it's worth some money. Here's a comp. We got these like puzzle pieces almost. They make a, they make a track. That's what this is. Maybe something goes on that track. Here's a trailer. Ooh, is this a pop-up trailer? I think so. Yep. Pop-up trailer. Don't want to lose my table. Um, Fisher Price. Probably for like the little people, maybe? That's cool. I bet you that has a value. I know it must be a little bit upsetting seeing me look first, but sorry. Uh, this one, made in China, on off. I don't think it's much of anything. Oh! No. Are 
this. This reminds me of Jurassic Park. Is that what this is? 1996 UCS Amblin Hasbro. Maybe. You can see it had a sticker. Where is this place? This is from uh, Family Thrift Center. That's what that sticker is from. So, kind of cool. There's probably something that went here. This goes. Yeah. Trailer. 1992 SLM. What is this? Ready Mixer. Uh, Nylant. It is made out of metal. Uh, 1997 hard hat. I don't think that's, that's missing a piece. That's another cement mixer. Here you go. Big rigs construction. That's just battery instructions. There you go. Tonka. Path Cutter Rescue. I might have had something on there. The guy whose stuff this was was really into um, trucks. He had a lot of like die cast semi trucks. Um, I know those used to have a lot of value doing comps. I wasn't seeing that to remain the case. The guy I met there, um, he was uh, buying some of those. Ertl, um, die cast semi trucks. So here's another Tonka towing, metal, plastic, and metal. It has numbers and stuff. I'll look it up. Tonka towing, 24 hours, 454. That's in reference to the engine rising. Edition XLT is another one of those things you'd get at the um, drugstore. A couple little things down here. Trailer, trailer. Nope. This. What does this go on to? Has like a little diamond plug thing. Oh, this would have had batteries too. Bummer. Oh, here's the compartment head thing though. Okay. Hmm. There it goes. Cool. Every piece counts. Every piece counts. Okay. So, out of this stuff, we got the cool trailer. We got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing. And maybe that tracks something. Maybe the Tonka? I don't know. Uh, box four. Box four. It's a big one. It does look like there's some water damage. I don't know if that was... Pre storage or well storage. We got this thing, a Fisher Price thing. Looks like a fan of sorts. 95. Not sure what that would do. This is something I saw. Um, this softball. J D E. Uh, J de Beer and Sons, Albany, New York. So the box is pretty cool. Official day night number 512. It's in there. Yeah. Elastic shell. It's kind of cool. Can't imagine it's worth more than five, ten bucks. Cool old box. Oh, hi. Oh, this is funny. So, this is a. What was it made by? Made in Hong Kong. New Bright. This is a Fire Chief Clown. 
I actually have the police clown, but mine's broken. I don't know if this one works or not, but pretty creepy. You're into being creeped out. Oh, oh. Some skates and stuff. Here's a purse. You always want to check. You never know. Gold doubloons. No, there's nothing here. Here's some roller skates. Brookfield. Looks like kids, girls. I can't imagine they're worth much. They were priced at $10 for something. Here's another pair. These ones are priced at $5. Roller Derby wheels. Roller Derby brand. Again, I don't think there's much money there. Probably end up getting donated. We'll see. I'll check them out. Do a little comps. Here's a basket. It's made in China. I don't think it's worth anything. Oh. Huh. More skates. These are quite a bit older. Sears and Roebuck. Strap those on. Like this. Good luck. There's one. Here's the other. So, those might have some value. I'm going to stand up for this because I can't even see in here. Got a folder. Nothing in it. These are giant cards. Jumbos by Jolly. Breeding cards. My anniversary gift to you. 365 days of love. Unused, got three, four, five of those. Your x-rays have just come back and we think we've located the problem. I don't know what that, that's supposed to mean. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm staying inside. Um, you got lead in your tuchus. And this one. While you're sick, don't worry. Oh gosh. There's a bunch of stuff to worry about. So, I don't know if those are worth anything. What's this? Here's a base. Chieftain Models. I wonder if this would go with our Delta Plane. Valentine's Day. These belts. This isn't much toys. Mystical Rose. Supposed to do something, doesn't do it. Uh, some type of band. Some type of girdle. The darker size, folks. Ooh, a hammock! Five dollar hammock, here you go. Here's... Nail dry. Dry your nails in here. I don't think that's worth money. This is definitely not a toy box. Got a little wallet. Cool little backpack. One of those like baby ones. I might sell that. Sell it on Depop. Uh, placemats. Lots of placemats. Various placemats. And some drapes. That sucks. More drapes. Got this metal plate. This is garage sale stuff that didn't sell, I think. They happen to have some toys in it. This could be scary. This was the bottom stuff. This thing's for a tree, I think. Let's go to box five. Box five. We've got a lot of little stuff. It's a little box. Got a lot of little stuff. Here's the here. Uh, I told you about that guy who bought those uh, diecast trucks and um, tractors off me. Here's the brand Soldier Bear, uh, made exclusively for military exchange service. Hmm. So, I don't know. Here's more of it. These are two jets. <sighs> little things, little things. We got a boat here. 
1978 Tommy. That's kind of cool. I've had good luck with little boats like this. Not a ton of money. Ooh, but you can wind it up. It's a wind up. That's cool. I'm going to get some money out of that. What is this? This is some show. Who knows? It's like a, I think a Burger King or Happy Meal toy. I'll put those all to the side. Captain Hook, Happy Meal. This is cool. This is an ornament. It's dated 1990. Don't smoke, you varmint. That's cool. Uh, what's that guy's called? Uh, Yosemite Sam. People like him. Here's a little 92 mouse. The Jetsons. Space cards. Denny's. I might just lot up all these little... Here's another of the same guy. Um, Burger King toys. Here's one. This is another 1978 Tommy speedboat. Let's see if it works. That'd be cool. I never had one of these, but playing the tub with that, that'd be sick. Uh, we got a yo-yo, butterfly, Duncan. It's tangled up with an M&M &M guy. A little bit older. I think that was on the top of a thing full of candy. Here we go. Here's that orange. What is this? Denny's. 1991. Orange thing. Oh, it opens up. And there's an elephant in there. Uh, here's a car. A little plastic dilly. What's in here? It's another one of these two-sided racers. 1990 Burger King. I don't think they're worth money. Uh, Tasmanian Devil. Oh, this guy probably goes with that orange, uh, orange haired dude. Ah! We got a burger guy. What is this? 89. That might be worth something. Here's a pie that goes with them. Graphics, 1989. This is cool. Trolltronic. It's a little troll radio. I'll put batteries in it, see if it works. That's kind of cool. Let's see if I see anything else in here. This guy, what is he? 1988? McDonald's guy. Here's something, some of the package, maybe out of a, a cereal box. That's from uh, Beauty and the Beast. What's this? I don't know what this is. It's from Sonic. It's from 1993. More of these characters. These guys might all go together for something. A Scrooge McDuck or a duck of sorts. Another guy. This guy floats. Uh oh. I think that's all that's interesting. Ooh, we got this. I don't know what it is. A little button from Burger King. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A little die cast car. Majory or something like that. Oh, last thing. Oh, I thought it was going to be a nightlight. It has a clip on the back. I don't know. Little black cat. Let's go to box six. I think it's box six. Box six. This one said games, yard sale. I was like, oh, maybe it's a bunch of vintage Nintendo games. But it's looking like it's board games. First one is the Dance Craze game of the 90s. Dance Party. Get to it. Yeah. Um, 
We'll check later so it's complete. Ooh. Nice. The Adams Family Creepy Mansion Action Game. Man. If that's complete, I think it'll be cool. It's from 1992. That's cool. I like it. Last one. Oh, there's only three in here. Channel Surfing. I don't think that would work anymore. All right. <laughs> Let's go to box seven. Box seven. Okay. Oh. Got a radio flyer. Small little mini. <sighs> Pretty dusty. But I think that's kind of cool. Might sell that at a local auction. Have this. Easy bake hand mixer and bowl. Hmm. I don't know how well that could possibly work, but it's in the package. It's from 2000. Oh, here is the trailer. We had that wood truck, semi truck. Here's the trailer. No wheels though. A book. A couple books. We got Charlie Brown. This is your life. Um, it'd be cool if it was signed by Schultz. It is from. Printed in Italy. It's from 1987. Might have value, you know. There's another Charlie Brown super book of questions and answers. Another hardback children's book. Uh, has a former name and phone number in it. And this one, 12th printing, 1972. So maybe some value there. They're old enough. I got another skate. This one's a single skate, but I'm sure I have the. Another one. This is Flying Ace. These metal wheels. A tin. Empty tin. It's a Millennium Collector's tin. Y2K. Watch out. Alright, and we got two boxes inside a box. You can go with this one first. Heart song on it, recommended for ages three and up. Oh. Now this dude. So I'm guessing you. Oh, get it. He's a gymnast. Oh, backwards too. That's kind of cool. Not very old, I don't think. Maybe it's worth 10 bucks, 15 bucks, zero bucks. Okay. Oh, don't break it. There's a box. It was mailed. I don't know. But to a scuba center, it's not scuba gear. It is a toy, a hot dog toy. This is a go. Maybe it. Cooks hot dogs. I don't know. I don't think it's very old. I don't see a maker on it. I'll do a little bit more investigation. Okay, there you go. Hot dog toy. Box eight. Coming up. The eighth box is this little box. With a lunch box inside of it. Godzilla. 1998. Oh yeah, this is the one with the uh, Goodwill sticker on it. Also from 98, so it would have been pretty new when it was bought at the Goodwill. And it does have the thermos. That's cool. That's the right thermos. Godzilla. Yep. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is worth... Put comp there. So this, is this little box. Oh. It's the sewing machine. The, uh... What's it called? Cabbage Patch Sewing Machine. There was uh, the box. I have the box for this. It is missing the bottom part. Oh, no. It's in here. That's lucky. That's twice today. We've been missing the bottom. And then... Found it.
We'll work on that later. Um, it has the instructions. Is that what this is? Yeah, instructions for the sewing machine. So I don't think that's worth big money, but I'm glad I found it considering I got the box. So only two things. What? Box nine coming up. Box number nine. So with these lunch boxes. Ooh. Little mermaid. It's pretty dirty and the sticker's coming off. It's a plastic lunch pail. It does have its thermos. Kind of cool. Pretty dirty lunch pail. Um, and that sticker is definitely coming off. I sometimes sell these on Etsy as purses. Reuse? Rethink? Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Another thermos lunchbox. 1990s, 80s. Um. I haven't been in one of these in a long time. There we go. Also has its thermos. A little rough, but we'll still see what we can do about these. I might put clean these up, put them in local auction. We'll get crazy at the local auction. All right. Oh, here's the other flying ace skate. So put those together. Oh, these are adjustable. That's cool. Like, if you bought a pair of rollerblades, I doubt they'd be adjustable. So, from that size to that size. I wonder if that's also dangerous. <laughs> um, uh, Toy Story Little Green Army Men. Here's, like, a book with Little Green Army Men included. So, Toy Story, third printing, 1996. Army base, uh, Walmart stores, it's a Walmart toy. I don't know if they have value. <laughs> army toy stuff, bag of army men. There's some cars in here. Let's check out that Jeep. It's a little plastic one. Helicopter. Nope, that's a gunner. I don't think. I think these are just little drugstore toys. Got the Fisher Price bus filled with army men. Some type of tractor toy. And some type of race car. Made in China. Grand Prix. All right, we're down to one more box. Haven't found anything that great, so. Ugh. Here it is. Here it is, final box. Box number 10. Oh. Super heavy, it's filled with boxes. This is the box that was in the corner, the lower corner. I hope it's not drapes. There is this big yellow vinyl case thing. We'll just start there. Boxes and boxes. Oh, that's always exciting. Let me take this box out. Oh no. Oh, maybe. This box has writing on it on the top. It says Barbie clothing. Oh no, it's not. Fashion dolls. We got vintage Barbie folks. How vintage is the question? That vintage. Um, dated 68, but I don't know how that all works. We got a can. Oh, we got Little Mermaid and the Prince. I don't know if those are Barbie. Find this information on the butt. Another Ken doll. Dated 68. 
Here's not Barbie, but someone. Mattel, 87. It's a bride Barbie. This is 66, but I don't think it's that old. I think that's like the body model. Original age. Another aerial. Oh, this makes sense. The uh, Barbies in 87. Um, Little Mermaid. Older Barbie. Probably like the 80s. Pantsuit bar. Oh no, that's a skirt. Barbie. Okay. Wow. So, those are the Barbies. I thought this was going to be all paperwork. What is in here? Books. A bunch of Berenstein books. Y'all remember Berenstein Bears? Also, these are a lot. All together. Berenstein Bears go to camp. Maybe, if I'm lucky, there'll be Berenstein Bears New Neighbors in here, which is an interesting cover. Okay, Berenstein Bear books. Box of Barbie clothes. Ugh. I will... Oh, here's Barbie accessories. I've had collections of Barbie stuff in the past... Skis. Um, it's a pain in the butt. Oh, these are maybe for the Barbies to stand on? Who knows? I'll sell this at local auction. I don't even want to deal with it, to be honest with you. Two more little boxes in here. It might be Barbie stuff. It might be books. It's looking like books. Ugh. What you're looking for with kids' books? I don't know. I don't know what you're looking for. Um, but look out for pop-up books. Those are good. Sometimes older books. You got a colossal dinosaur book. There's some kiddos who would like that. Oh, it's pretty dense reading. But okay. Uh, green eggs and ham. Are you my mother? Bear's picnic. This is cool little Dr. Seuss lot. List them all together. One fish, two fish. Uh, and more Seuss. Ooh, I'm gonna pull that bottom one out. What is this? There's two. Ooh, Little Mermaid. Golden book, but they have like a lenticular front. Is that working on camera? Yeah. And then Little Red Riding Hood. Golden Press, 1969. Pages are all thick and weird. Oh, it's like the whole thing is like a puppet version. Huh. We'll check those out. They might be worth money. Last box. Guessing books. But we'll sell books. We'll sell books all day long. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe not books. Maybe it's... Oh, maybe it's books. Need a cutter.
Oh, more Barbie. Tons of Barbie dolls. Okay. I got here Barbie. Barbie. This is like see through Barbie. Whoa, she has like a perm. Barbie. 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 These are the ones with like the sticky legs. Ugh. That might be um, Belle. Barbie. 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 Oh, shoot. Someone's going to be mad about that. Okay, it'll pop up. Gosh. Barbie. Barbie. Go, go, boot, Barbie. Barbie. Maybe Barbie? Malaysia, Matalia. Barbie of sorts. Barbie. Lots of blonde Barbies. This might be like a skipper or whatever her name was. Barbie's little sister. Barbie. 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 Roller skate Barbie. Barbie. I didn't even look at that one. Uh, this is a cool... Yep. 86. 80s Barbie. Oh, mark on her head. Look at those shoulder pads. Another aerial, possibly Barbie. And Barbie. So, I got... Sorry. I got a ton of Barbie stuff here. Lotting it up. Dropping it off at the local auction. Not gonna deal with it. Sorry there wasn't some crazy die cast find. I was kind of hoping for that. But it's okay. So we got that Tonka truck. Um, we got that plane. We got the Honda kick and go. Um, some other cool little things. Um, I'm not going to let this lot take too much of my time. There's definitely money to be made here. I'm going to make that money and get on my way. So thanks for watching this haul. Uh, if you like stuff like this, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button. We will talk to you soon. My name's Ruben. I'm having a good day. Hoping you're having a good day. Let's talk again soon.